Greetings everyone, my name is Adderville, and welcome to my blind let's play of Pastagi, a 2D boss rush game developed by Papiro. This is our town, our home, our kingdom, rich in silver and happy people. Everything is due to the entity of Pastagi. This entity fought for us many decades ago. Now it sleeps, waiting for the next battle. No one taught today was that day. We received an unexpected visit. The monsters who took over our mine shafts. They demanded all of our silver. We refused, so they took it all by force. All of our silver, gone. We have no other choice. It's time to wake up the entity of Pastagi. Delicious. The mine shaft system consists of three levels. Each level has a structure similar to an electric circuit. Go through each and every level, finding the monsters in it. Try to walk around the room, jump, throw knives, hold the key to collect knives. Cool. Here's our map. Light bulb, inductor, diode, capacitor, light bulb, diode, resistor, capacitor. The light bulb. The graphical style of this game is rather interesting. I have 10 hearts for battle, don't worry. There we go. We'll talk about it after the stream, Jaden. The Inductor. I wish I could play this game using a controller, but I can't. If I play using a controller, I can only move around and jump. I can't attack. Down you go. For every boss we dispatch, we regain some of the silver coins. The diode. The way everything moves in this game feels rather puppet-like.
It's like everything's being pulled by puppet strings. Or as Buster points out, 2D skeletal animation. It's just that the way it's showcased here is rather uncanny. To be fair, it works for this game's art style, which is already rather... strange. The resistor. The, cap the capacitor again. I'm assuming they're gradually becoming tougher. For all these bosses, damage boosting is a surprising- Whoa, what's happening? Damage boosting is a pretty strong strat. Final boss time, Junction Keeper. I don't really spot that many differences between the bosses during their first and second encounters, unless I'm killing them too fast. Goodbye, Keeper. And then the game loops. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, now I got the controller working. I'm gonna try level 2 this time with the controller and see if there's any difference at the end. See, if my health wasn't restored between stages, then I'd be far more concerned. Let me try finishing this, then we can make sure. I think we're looping. I'm not sure though. The question is, are the circuits randomly generated? Because the boss fights are exactly the same, it's not even like they're faster. Oh, it did. Fine, we'll do all three circuits. You're new. No, you're not new. Sorry. Now you're dead. <laughs> Please stop posing. Like I said, if my health carried over between bosses, 
this would be far more of a challenge. I mean, we have 10 lives to spare. Considering this game's difficulty, that seems rather excessive to me. Junction Keeper number two. Easy. On to circuit number three, hopefully the final one. Just for fun, I'm going to tap even faster. I enabled auto hotkey just to see how fast I can do this. Behold, machine gun knives. If these battles are exactly the same, I might as well do this to speed up the process. I fire so fast that the sound effect doesn't even play. Hey, stop cheating. I like how every boss is based off of electric components. This one also has potential, but the way to improve it is more complicated. Because I get what this is going for. This is an arcade boss rush. The first thing I would do is actually make the bosses tougher after each loop. Grant them new attacks, make them faster, etc. And better yet, make more bosses. Also, make damage boosting a less dominant strategy. Thank you. 
Oh, if I hit the boss too fast, some of the hits don't even register. Junction Keeper number 3 up ahead. He dance, he die. Is this the end then? Yep. After all the fighting, the dodging, and the running, the entity found its way out of the mine shafts. The journey was successful. The entity came back with all of our silver, and everyone lived happily ever after. So this marks the end of my let's play of Pastagi, a fairly okay at best boss rush game. I know it's a freeware indie title, but it could be so much better on the gameplay front. The graphics and animations were odd to say the least, yet at the same time, they formed a distinctive style. On this front, the music complemented the style. Gameplay is where this kind of fell flat for me. It may look janky, but that's because of the animations. Controls and physics were very responsive, and the training did a good job at teaching you the mechanics. For the first one through, it was fine. However, following the first loop, it became rather repetitive. Outside of the different circuit layouts, the bosses played out exactly the same. If there were actually more differences between each circuit or loop, I'd like this far more. My suggestions for the bosses are the following. For each subsequent loop, make them faster, add new attacks, and or add new battle conditions. As it stands right now, it's okay at best. Nonetheless, I wish the best of luck to the developers of this title. Well then, thanks for watching, and have a nice day.